So Variety put out its 100 greatest TV shows of all time. And it is across all of all genres, which inherently makes this a very complicated list, because how could you compare something like South Park to The Sopranos? You can't, which I'm assuming The Sopranos is number one. But we'll, we're going to start going through this. There's going to be a lot of shows I haven't seen. There's going to be a lot of shows you haven't seen. I'm going to blow through the ones I haven't seen um, and, and go from there. First of all, I love Community. Community is one of my favorite comedies of all time. I think it's highly underrated. It was Dan Harmon's um, big show. Um, and... I'm so happy that it got a little bit. I'm so happy it got uh, it got something. It's 100. I think it's worth it. It was very interesting. It's very self-referential. It was very, um, very original and at its time. And I, 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 I love the cast. It gave a lot of people their, their kind of big thing of like Allison, uh, Allison Brie and, um, uh, fucking Childish Gambino. What I'm fucking what's his name? I forget. But I, I love, I love, um. I love I love the whole cast. The whole cast is amazing, and I think the Dean from Community is one of the best written comedy characters of all time. Period. Hannibal Donald Glover. Thank you. I couldn't remember his name. Hannibal. I'm surprised this is um, on here. I, I watched some of Hannibal, and it didn't blow me away. But I know if I stuck with it, I'd like it. Homeland. I know a lot of people liked that. I didn't see it. Top Chef. I wasn't expecting to see reality shows on this, but I guess now we have to go into it with that mindset. Oh man, I bet Big Brother is going to be high. Big Brother's going to be high on this list, I bet. The Good Fight. This is one of those ones where it, like, it just was around like five years ago and it kept winning awards and I never saw it because it was on network TV and I refused to watch it. Oh, Black Mirror should be higher. 95? Black Mirror's incredible. I May Destroy You. Never heard of it. HBO from 2020. I didn't watch a lot of stuff during COVID, so maybe that was it. Will and Grace. Okay, yeah, good show. Amazing Race Top 20, maybe. Saying elsewhere, I never watched before my time, but I get it. Daria, no, really? Cosby Show. Here's the th that's, this is the troubling thing with the Cosby Show. It was so important. It was so revered. It was so influential. But it's so hard to like. It's so hard to look at this and not be like, well, it's it's got fucking Cosby in it though, and he's a piece of shit. So it's like. It's it's tough to take life lessons from this guy knowing what you know about him now. So it's it's very weird. Obviously, it's not fair to completely cross off the Cosby show from existence, but it's like it's tough for me to be like, yeah, okay, one of the best, best shows of all time. If you ever chose Westworld, it's great, yeah. Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, fair. Again, I, I didn't even occur to me that this would be on, on like a list of TV shows. But yeah, it was a TV show, of course. Uh, that means Bob Ross is certainly going to be on this. That being said, though, if Bob Ross is higher than Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, I'll be mad about it. General Hospital, yeah, okay, that was really popular. Happy Days, yeah, okay, really popular, I get it. Girls, I'm surprised Girls is on here. Columbo, great show. Atlanta, I never watched, but good for them for getting it, getting to 80, uh, getting on this list, that's huge. Stranger Things is one of my favorite shows. I'm surprised this isn't higher, personally. I think if Stranger Things is able to nail this last season, it will go down in history as one of the greatest TV shows of all time. Mark my words. Personally, I think it's incredible. I think it's masterfully done. I think it's great writing. I think it's very original. I think it, it combines a lot of fascinating elements in a very interesting human way. And if they can nail, if they can stick the landing, then it'll it'll go down in history. Fleabag, I don't know anything about. I just know it exists. 30-something, I never saw that. I never saw 30-something. I know this guy from from the West Wing. The West Wing better be top five, I think. Scandal, I never really watched that. Muppet Show, I hadn't thought about that being on there. Dallas, yeah, well, that was before my time. Daily Show, oh yeah, Daily Show. Fleabag's good. I've heard Fleabag's is really good. Um, Daily Show with Jon Stewart, fair, totally fair. If he's here, then it definitely means um, John Oliver's not higher on this list. But I'm surprised this isn't higher, actually. West Wing better be top 10. Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, yeah, of course. Taxi, I don't know anything about Taxi, except that it existed. Deadwood. I never saw Deadwood. I know I would like Deadwood, though. I'm surprised. It's actually pretty high up for what it is. Um, one of my teachers in film school um, who who taught us production design, she she was a production designer for Deadwood. So a lot of times when she would teach us stuff, um, she would bring out references from Deadwood of like stuff she had done. It was really, really cool. MIPD Blue, this was a great show. I, I, I watched this. I had my, my great aunt was a big fan of the show and she would have me watch it. NYPD Blue is great. All, you know, all of these shows, these kind of like procedural, like police shows and, and detective shows. Yeah, if you're watching them a lot, because it's like 
they're, they're done very economically. If you watch exactly how they how they block certain things, you can have really interesting scenes that are done essentially in one shot. And it, they, they use the blocking very, very um, effectively. Wonder Years, yeah, a little bit before my time, but I get it. Living Single, a little bit before my time, I get it. People versus O.J. Simpson? What the fuck is this doing at 70? How, how is this above any of the stuff we just saw? It was okay. I also feel like it's weird to be like, American Crime Story is the show. This is like a mini series. Why is our mini series allowed to be on this list? Because that's weird. Why is this on the list? This feels weird. That's super weird. Roseanne, good show. Fuck Roseanne though, but yeah, Grey's Anatomy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. RuPaul's Drag Race, very good. I'm glad. I'm glad that's on here. Sixty-seven. That's not bad. Bob Newhart show. This was very much before my time, but I do understand how influential this was and how funny he is. A lot. I've heard a lot of people talk about this as as being so so influential um, at its time. It's it's classic. Yeah, it's very much classic. Freaks and Geeks is on here. What? I mean, I guess you could give it just not even for what the show is, but the fact that it gave. I mean, look at all these faces that that became things after this. Am I wrong that I think isn't Linda Cardellini the only person who was like a thing at this time? Jason wasn't a thing. Homeboy wasn't a thing. Seth Rogen wasn't a thing. This guy wasn't a thing. This guy wasn't a thing. I don't know who he is, but good good for them. Freaks and Geeks was huge. Jefferson's, I'm surprised that's not higher, actually. Angels in America. The fuck? Wasn't this a miniseries? God, there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff that's like HBO on here that I didn't really know too much about or, or watch. Angels in America, huh? The comeback? The fuck, Elisa Kudrow show is higher than the Jeffersons? The fuck? That feels weird. Oh, yeah. If, yeah, if we're counting miniseries, then Roots, Roots is, is better be high up there. Top 10, probably. Orange is the New Black. Okay. It was... Here's the thing. It's like, I don't know if they're doing it because it was such a good show or if they're doing it because it was like, like historically speaking, this show is particularly important and influential because of what it did for web series and what it did for like Netflix originals, what it did for our, our streaming original shows. It was very, very important. Yeah, like it helped viewers adjust to the idea of streaming series uh, bankrolled by what was then a DVD rental company. Yeah. So I understand why it's it's high up because of its how influential it was and what it did for TV and a lot of the other things on this list. But I think as a show itself, it was like, it was okay. In Living Color, great. Fair, 60, yeah. South Park, 59. South Park should be higher. I'm pretty mad about this one. South Park should be way higher. As far as, as, far as television comedy is concerned, South Park is, they're the greatest satirists in all of TV, movies, anything. They are the greatest satirists. And it has some of the most amazing, funniest writing ever. And some of the most, most incredible characters that are just so, so insane. This should be higher. Personally, I think it should be top 10. I will give you top 20. But I definitely think it being 59 is pretty ridiculous. The Good Place. I know a lot of people like The Good Place. I never watched it. I'm sure I'd like it. <laughs> I'm going to spend... <laughs> not better than South Park. I'm going to say this about everything now. This is going to kill me. Chappelle Show. Okay, I get it. I get it. I like Chappelle Show, too. Better than South Park? Again, no. But his, the two seasons of his show were very, very influential, and it was very popular, etc., etc., etc. Still not better than South Park, but that's okay. Law and Order Special Victims Unit, great show. Sure, I'll allow it. How is BoJack Horseman higher than South Park? What the hell? This feels wrong, right? This feels super wrong. Also, I can't watch this show because it's like too much about Hollywood. It gives me like, I cringe at it too much. There's no way BoJack Horseman in any way should be higher. Hold on. Animation isn't given enough credit as a source of complex emotional storytelling. Yeah, okay. Um, South Park. 
Bojack Horseman had all three in spades. South Park had all three in spades. Uh, and may have done more to expand general audiences' ideas of what animation can do than any show in the past decade. South Park. I don't think that this was that influential. Like, this transformed, like, adult animation for people. BoJack Horseman is the thing that did it? I don't think so. I don't fucking think so. Dude, this is, this is, this is ridiculous. This is fucking ridiculous. Ugh. It also is, like, depressing as shit in not a fun way. It's like washed up actor stuff. I also just hate stuff that's like about the industry. It's like it's about the industry, but it's animals. So it's it's kitschy and fun now, right? But like, no, it's still a bunch of fucking actors and writers writing about actors and writers in the most depressing way humanly possible. Gilmore Girls, absolutely, should be higher. This actually reminds me. I really hope that the OC is on this. If the OC isn't on this, I'll be sad. Gilmore Girls was, was good, yeah. Six Feet Under, great, great show. Fabulous, absolutely. I'll allow it. Tonight Show Johnny Carson. I get it. I get Carson. Yeah, I get it. I also wasn't thinking about there being talk shows like this on here, but I guess I guess so. It will be weird if <laughs> I would love to see Conan. I would love to see like late night with Conan O'Brien. I would like to see that higher. That would that would be really nice. I would I would appreciate that. I think late night with Conan O'Brien is one of the most influential, one of the best pieces of comedy television of all time. The how crazy it was was really, truly amazing. Most development, yeah, I get it. My so-called life, I never really watched, but I know it's I know it's important in some way. Watchmen, excellent. I'm glad this is pretty high up. Again, this is one of my favorite TV shows of all time. I highly recommend watching it. However, you can't watch it because HBO took it down, which is a fucking shame. It is so good. It is again a very weird, non-traditional uh, adaptation of it, but it's still very, 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 very good. Very good show. Yeah, the Tulsa Race Massacre, the fact that it, it it depicts that so, so well is in its own something truly incredible. If you're, if you're able to rent it or do something, whatever, just please watch this show. It's not long. It is incredible. The episode of, of like, Silver Mask Guy, when he has his own episode, oh, it's incredible. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's Lindelof. Yeah, he does such a good job, uh, job with that. The Manhattan episode, yeah. I mean, every episode of it is so good. It is such a good show. Highly recommend watching it if you haven't. Firefly should be on this. The Shield, great, great show. Sure. Friday Night Lights, great, great show. Leftovers, I'm surprised this is that high. The Leftovers, is this high? Really? All right, fair, fine, okay. Dick Van Dyke show should probably be higher. Again, highly influential. Star Trek Next Gen, okay. Then I guess that means regular Star Trek, like OG, is higher up. Larry Sanders show higher than Dick Van Dyke. A satire, a talk show satire is higher than Dick Van Dyke show. The Americans real. I know a lot of people really liked this show, but that's pretty high. The real world. Okay. I knew the real world would be up here. 41. I'm surprised it's not higher. Honestly, Buffy. Fuck. Yeah. I'm glad Buffy's on here. Excellent. The Office, fair. Thought that might actually have been higher because of how much people just love that indiscriminately. X-Files, excellent. Such a great show. Totally deserves to be up here. Enlightened, I don't even know exists. This is another one of those like HBO just pumped out a bunch of stuff in the in the in the the mid two thousands that I just totally missed. Kirby Enthusiasm, excellent show. Absolutely. Letterman. Letterman's higher than Carson. That's very funny. Personally, I can't really stand Letterman, but I I, I appreciate that when Jay Leno fucked him out of um, a out of Carson's role, that he ended up going across the street and making what ended up being, for a while, a higher-rated show than, than Leno. But then, then things switched and everyone back. ER, absolutely. Oh, Jeopardy! I didn't even think about there being game shows on this. Absolutely. Jeopardy is fabulous. 100%. Love it. Lost, yeah, except for the ending. I'm surprised it's that high up. I, I get it, though. I get it. I'll allow it. That's fair. Okay. Survivor. Yeah, yeah. Survivor. I'm. This might be the highest uh, uh, reality show. I can't, I can't think of a reality show that might be higher than Survivor or The Real World. I swear to God, if Fear Factor is higher on the list, I'm going to shit. 
Hill Street Blues. I'm not even very aware of that. Friends, 29, fair enough. Thanks for the follow, um, Paulson. Appreciate you. The Civil War. Oh, interesting. PBS special. Huh. Oh, it was Ken Burns documentary, uh, um, docuseries. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I haven't seen this. Interesting. Twin Peaks is 27. Ah. Oh. Fabulous. No, if the Kardashians are on this list, I'm going to shit. I swear to God. Fa this is fabulous that Twin Peaks is on this. Fabulous. Fabulous. Excellent. Excellent. Veep. I know a lot of people loved Veep. I never got around to it. The West Wing should be higher. It should be higher. This is one of the best television shows of all time. Best dialogue. Best political drama. Be uh, su such amazing cast. He's one of the best presidents. He was only supposed to be in the first couple episodes, and then they ended up liking him so much that they wrote him into the rest of the series. Because it was supposed to be about the West Wing, so it's not supposed to be about, like, it weren't, they weren't going to feature the president that much. It was just going to be about the staffers. But then they liked him so much. And he wanted to do it more. Mash, yeah, of course, that makes sense. Carol Bonet show, absolutely, I'm surprised it's not higher. 30 Rock. 30 Rock is perhaps the best comedy series of all time, in my opinion. Although, again, it's like, because it's a satire of its own thing, it's like it's like a satire of, of SNL. It is still some of the best one-liners of any show ever. Easily. Some of the best one-liners, like it is, it is nonstop. Like as far as like jokes per minute, it is so high. It is insane. It is a fabulous show. If you haven't seen it, please go watch it. It is so so good. It's on Peacock. Please go watch it. I believe it is anyway. Game of Thrones. Okay, fair enough. Here's the thing with Game of Thrones. It's it's one of those things we'd be considering it one of the greatest shows of all time if they hadn't fucked up the last uh, the last season, or the last two seasons. It's really a shame. It's really, really a shame to have tarnished the the reputation of it with such a with such a forced, rushed, uh, anticlimactic ending. It's really a shame. But all of that being said, it's it is still like you look back at some of the storylines, some of the seasons. It was incredible. It really was incredible, and I I, I think it still deserves to exist in everyone's memory as as one of the greatest. Um, drama, like fantasy dramas of all time. I think it's still fair, even though they, they fucked up the landing. 60 minutes, okay. Again, I hadn't thought about 60 minutes being on here, but that's very fair. Playhouse 90, I don't even know what this is. Golden Girls is 18, that's wild. I love Golden Girls as much as the next guy. Which is, which is actually, that's not a very... This doesn't make sense as, as a statement, I guess. I love I love Golden Girls as much as the next girl. How about that? Um, it is an incredible show. I'm surprised it's so high on this. But it is one of those things. It's like if, if you pitched today, we're going to do a sitcom about a bunch of old ladies, you would get laughed out of every studio. But the fact that they were able to make this like 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 you could watch Golden Girls and you realize you're, I'm sitting there laughing about uh, four elderly women trying to understand like like property law. Or something. It's like, it's insane that this is as good as it is. Oprah? Oh, wow. Oprah made it into top uh, top 20? That's wild. Okay, that's fair enough. I guess it's fair enough. Again, highly influential. Highly. I get it. All in the family. Fair enough. Okay. Saturday Night Live. Yeah, I get it. I get it. I get it. Twilight Zone. Hell yeah. Oh, I feel like this should be higher, too. That's okay though. Succession is thirteen. Damn. See, that's what, I'm wondering if there's like memory bias right now. That it's, there's gonna they're gonna give a bunch of a bunch of more recent stuff higher higher um, weight just by virtue of it being like in more in recent memory. What else is gonna be on here? I'm like blanking. I guess the OC is not gonna be on this. Damn. Sesame Street. Okay, fair. That's fair. Totally. What else? What's gonna be in the top ten? Sopranos is the only thing I know for sure is going to be in the top 10. Cheers. Okay, I guess, yeah. It 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 was important. It was influential. It, it gave a lot of people their start and also spawned a bunch of movies or a bunch of other TV shows. Like Frasier is a spinoff. Um, what else? There was a bunch of other spinoffs. The Wire and Seinfeld are probably up there. Yeah, and Breaking Bad. That's, those are true. Roots. Great. Roots is up here, as it should be. Mary Tyler Moore show. Oh, that's fair. Okay, that's fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll allow it. 
Seinfeld is eight. Oh wow. By the way, if you didn't live through this period of the, of the like the eighties, nineties, like the nineties specifically, like I don't think you understand how important this show was, or like how big this show was. Dumb, 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 dumb ending, but it was such a, an incredible show. It was The Wire, fair. Wire's fucking incredible, totally fair. Sex in the City. Oh, I forgot about that. Totally forgot about Sex in the City. I guess that's fair. Oh, Simpsons for sure is going to be up here, right? Breaking Bad 5. Okay. Fair. Fair. Simpsons 4. I The, the Sopranos is going to be one. Mark my words. So, uh, Sopranos is number one. What the fuck's going to be next? What's going to be three and two? Monty Python? No, I don't think so. Oh, there's no way Chernobyl is going to be up there. I'm like going slow. The Sopranos is three? What? Three? 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 No. Fucking. There are two things higher than The Sopranos? The fuck is number one? Oh, I'm, I'm ready to be mad. Oh. Madman is number two. Madman's higher than The Sopranos? Are you high? It's a good show. It's a great show. It is not better than the fucking Sopranos. This is a top 20 show. I love Mad Men. I love that show. But this is top 20. This is not top fucking two. What in the motherfuck is number one? Guesses. Guesses for number one. Hit me with them. What do we think? I cannot possibly fathom. But I totally forgot about Mad Men. Of course, it's on the list. But two, and it's higher than Sopranos. What could possibly be number one? Futurama, no. It's got to be something like... I bet it's something that's not like a TV show, TV show, and it's something that we hadn't even like thought about. <laughs> it just says, the news. <laughs> it's just going to be the news. Grey's Anatomy? Oh, God. Please, no. I'm starting to get scared now. I'm gonna I'm gonna scroll. Is it on screen yet? Is it on screen yet? Oh, I love Lucy. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair, I guess. I still am mad about I think Mad Men and Sopranos. There's no way the Sopranos Yeah, Lucy is acceptable. I get it. Cause it's Lucy. I still think The Sopranos is number two, then. There is no world... Again, The Nanny's not on there. There's a bunch of shows that aren't on there. Hold on. Like, hold on. like, like here. Best TV shows of all time. Let's see what people think. Like, is there, any, is there anything that we missed? Oh, The Tudors was great. I'm surprised that's not on there. Smallville's not on there. Also, animation didn't get enough love. Batman the Animated Series, I would have loved if that was on there. MasterChef could have been on there. Downton Abbey. I feel like The Crown was probably top 100. Oh, BattleBots definitely should have been on there. <laughs> oh man, I still I think Conan should have been on that should have been on that list. I really do think so. I think Conan should have been on there. Did we see Six Feet Under? Six Feet Under wasn't on there, was it? ER was on there, right? Yeah. Would have been nice to see Parks and Rec on there too, but I get it. See, I would argue that House of Cards did more for streaming than Orange is the New Black. Dexter wasn't on the list, was it? Dexter wasn't on there. Sherlock wasn't on the list? Oh, UK Skins. UK Skins is such a good show. That's one of the best shows, in my opinion. Justify the way of Smallville. Fringe? Heroes? No, not Heroes. Wood shouldn't have been on there. Walking Dead wasn't on there. I'm surprised Walking Dead wasn't on there. Three's Company wasn't on there. Yeah. NCIS wasn't on there. Prison Break wasn't on there. The Shield wasn't on there, right? Band of, Bro uh, Band of Brothers wasn't on there. Star Trek The Original Series wasn't on it. Just Next Gen. 
Xena wasn't on there. The newsroom was great. Days of Our Lives probably should have been on there in all fairness. I'm very glad the Kardashians weren't on there, though. I'll give you that much. Thank God. Hell's Kitchen. Malcolm in the Middle wasn't on it. Only one from Dick Wolf. Yeah, I'm surprised it wasn't more. Andy Griffith Show wasn't on there. Yeah, it's true. I'm glad something like I'm glad Big Bang wasn't on there or something dumb like that. I love How I Met Your Mother, but I I, I get why it's not on there. It was pretty cookie cutter. I do kind of think the nanny should have been on there, though. I'm very happy that Twin Peaks was on there, though. That made me happy. I can't believe Dexter wasn't on there. Am I crazy? Also, House. House wasn't on there. Oh, dude, House totally should have been on there. House was amazing. True Blood wasn't on there, but I'll, I'll, I, I get it. I'll get it. I, I'll allow that. I'll allow it. I loved Lie to Me, by the way. If you haven't seen Lie to Me, it's very good. It's it's very, it's very you know, again, cookie cutter, but it's good. It's highly formulaic, more than a lot of procedurals, but it's still really good. Sopranos number three. God. Just preposterous. Nine oh two and oh wasn't on there. I'm I'm not surprised Firefly wasn't on there, although I do like Firefly. I would have liked to have seen a like animation get a little more love. Cause it was really just it was South Park, The Simpsons, and fucking Bojack Horseman. Right? There's was, there wasn't any other animation. Am I my my forgetting anything? Are you afraid of the dark? DuckTales. DuckTales was great. I get why DuckTales isn't on the list, but still. I think there's I think there's a lot of good animation that I think Criminal Minds wasn't on there. Yeah. I don't think there's a lot of um animation that that that, that could have made it on there. Gargoyles is great. I still think I think Batman the animated series probably should have been on there. I don't think I think a lot of people would agree with me there. And yeah, I get... 24 wasn't on there. 24 is pretty good. No suits. I'm fine with that. I still think the OC should have been on there. I love the OC. I thought it was great. I also identify with the OC a lot because I I I went to a high school in San Diego, and I can tell you that going to high school in San Diego is exactly like the show The OC, hundred percent, one hundo. Anyways, that's 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 the Variety one hundred best TV shows of all time list. I knew I'd get mad about it. I'd make some weird calls, but that was very weird. That was definitely some weird stuff.